In this Monday's print tip video, we're gonna be talking all about moisture conditioning and why we do it. Moisture conditioning is what we call it when we leave our nylon prints out and they get moisture conditioned so that they are in equilibrium with the humidity of the environment. You see nylon materials are very hygroscopic, meaning they easily absorb moisture. This is true both on the spool and after you print. Moisture conditioning is pretty much inevitable. It's going to happen whether you expedite the process or not because the printed part will absorb moisture from the humidity in the air. We always suggest moisture conditioning after annealing if you are to anneal because annealing will dry the part out and you'll have to moisture condition it again after annealing. Now, what this means for your nylon 3D printed part is that your part will become slightly more ductile, meaning it won't be quite as rigid as it was when dry, and it will become more impact resistant. So this might be a great thing if you want a part that is more impact resistant, but it might not be great if you need a part that is extremely rigid. When you go to our materials app, which is app.polymaker.com, you could check all of the stats of each of our materials. And then when you're on a nylon part, you can actually check and uncheck the wet checkbox so you can see what the technical data sheet will be depending on if your printed part is wet or not wet. Generally speaking, your part may grow slightly when moisture conditioning because it is absorbing moisture and therefore getting larger. This means if you have a part with extremely tight tolerances, it might be difficult to put everything together after moisture conditioning. Here is a chart of some of our tests with some of our nylons so you can see how much our parts grew after moisture conditioning. We developed our PA12CF in order to hopefully help fight this a bit because the nylon 12 is going to be less hygroscopic and therefore less susceptible to this moisture conditioning. Now, how do you moisture condition your part? As said earlier, the best and easiest method is just to leave your part out in the open. After about one to two weeks, your part will just naturally become moisture conditioned. That said, if you wanna expedite the process, you could get something like a Tupperware container and put a wet sponge in it with your print and roughly after about 24 to 48 hours, your part will become moisture conditioned. You could also submerge your print into water and then take it out, but then you will have to let it dry, which could take another 48 hours. We have seen some tests with people using automotive paint to seal the nylon so that it doesn't absorb moisture, but we don't have a lot of data in this regard. So generally speaking, we say that your nylon print will inevitably become moisture conditioned. Make sure you check our wiki, wiki.polymaker.com, because we have even more information about things just like this, such as moisture conditioning, annealing, anything you can think of for your 3D prints.